Blessings Mahamangala Sutta Thus I have heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was dwelling at Savati in Jetha's Grove, Anathapindika's Park. Then, when the night had advanced, a certain deity of stunning beauty, having illuminated the entire Jetha's Grove, approached the Blessed One paid homage to him, stood to one side and addressed the Blessed One in verse. Many devas and human beings have reflected on blessings, longing for safety, so declare the highest blessing. Not associating with fools, associating with the wise, and venerating those worthy of veneration. This is the highest blessing. Residing in a suitable place, merit done in the past, and directing oneself rightly, this is the highest blessing. Much learning a craft, a well-trained discipline, and well-spoken speech, this is the highest blessing. Serving one's mother and father, maintaining a wife and children, and an honest occupation, this is the highest blessing. Giving and righteous conduct, assistance to relatives, blameless deeds, this is the highest blessing. Desisting and abstaining from evil, refraining from intoxicating drink, heedfulness in good qualities, this is the highest blessing. Reverence and humility, contentment and gratitude, timely listening to the Dhamma, this is the highest blessing. Patience, being amenable to advice, the seeing of ascetics, timely discussing on the Dhamma, this is the highest blessing. Austerity and the spiritual life, seeing of the noble truths and realization of Nibbana, this is the highest blessing. One whose mind does not shake when touched by the worldly conditions, sorrowless, dust-free, secure, this is the highest blessing. Those who have done these things are victorious everywhere. Everywhere they go safely, Theirs is that highest blessing. Thank you.